Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, where I review the latest trailers, movies, and shows from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Today, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on the first trailer for Marvel Studios Echo, a new series that will premiere on Disney Plus and Hulu on January 10, 2024. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, you can watch it here one. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. All right, let's get started. The trailer for Echo introduces us to Maya Lopez, played by newcomer Aliqua Cox, a deaf Native American woman who has the ability to copy any skill or movement she sees. She is also known as Echo in the comic, and she has a connection to Daredevil, Kingpin, and Hawkeye. In fact, she will make her debut in the upcoming Hawkeye series, which will air on Disney Plus later this year. The trailer shows us glimpses of her origin story, her family, her culture, and her struggle to survive in a world of crime and violence. We also see her face off against some familiar and new foes, such as Kingpin, played by Vincent D. Onofrio, who returns to his iconic role from the Netflix Daredevil series, and a mysterious masked vigilante, who might be Daredevil himself. The trailer is gritty, action-packed, and intriguing, and it sets the tone for what looks like a very different and unique Marvel series. I think the trailer does a great job of showcasing the character of Echo, who is not only a badass fighter, but also a complex and layered person who has to deal with her identity, her past, and her future. I love that the trailer features authentic representation of Native American culture and language, as well as deaf culture and sign language. I think this is a huge step forward for diversity and inclusion in the MCU and I applaud Marvel for casting a deaf Native American actress to play the lead role. I also think the trailer hints at some exciting connections and crossover potential with other Marvel characters and stories, especially Daredevil and Kingpin, who are fan favorites and have a lot of history with Echo in the comics. I'm very curious to see how they will fit into the MCU and what role they will play in Echo's journey. However, the trailer is not perfect, and it also raises some questions and concerns. For one thing, I'm not sure why the series is releasing on both Disney Plus and Hulu, and why it will only be available on Hulu for a limited time. This seems like a confusing and unnecessary move that might affect the accessibility and popularity of the series. I hope Marvel has a good reason for this decision and that it won't affect the quality or continuity of the series. Another thing that I'm wondering about is the length and format of the series. The trailer says that it will be a five-episode streaming event, which sounds like a mini-series or a limited series. I'm not sure if this means that the series will be a one-off or if it it will have a second season or a sequel. I hope that the series will have enough time and space to tell a compelling and satisfying story and that it won't feel rushed or incomplete. Overall, I think the trailer for Echo is a solid and promising introduction to a new and exciting Marvel series. I think it has a lot of potential to be a groundbreaking and thrilling addition to the MCU and I can't wait to see more of Echo and her world. I'm giving the trailer a 8.5 out of 10 and I'm definitely looking forward to watching the series when it drops on January 10, 2024. What do you think of the trailer? Are you excited for Echo? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.